Hey everyone, Doug from Confology here. Uh, really exciting stuff to talk about today. Back in April of this year, in 2020, I responded to a blog post on Thrive Themes website where they had just talked about great ways to create fast blog posts and they were talking about using their block system. And I left this comment here where I said, you know, good stuff, any chance we'll see an update to the content blocks to match the quality of the page blocks from landing pages. And I said that I felt like the breadth of options and designs were really elevated in the page blocks, but were really suffering both uh, in terms of design and, and functionality when compared to the, uh, the post blocks or the content blocks. And Paul McCarthy from Thrive Themes responded and said that they are updating them and that they're improving the usability, introducing smart color technology. And I was super excited about that. Really excited because I use Thrive Architect to build everything. Every blog post on my website, every page is built using Thrive Architect. And I don't always use the landing page feature when I build pages within my theme. So we dug a little deeper and, and Paul asked a couple of questions. Um, I gave my feedback uh, and basically talked about why I thought the page blocks could be better. Uh, the content blocks could be better to match those of the page blocks. And that led them to, after my after my feedback, they added a survey here to the end of that blog post that I responded to asking about the experience with content blocks feature. Well, fast forward to today, we're in July, so about three months later, we actually have the exact page block feature inside of Thrive Architect and we can use it on any page. Let's dive in and take a look at what that looks like. So here I am in just an empty blog post that I created right now. In fact, this will ultimately end up being the blog post for this video that you can find at convology.com. And I wanted to very quickly walk through how I use these page blocks now to build blog posts. So on the, on the right hand side, there's the plus button to open up the element tray. And you can see that there's now an updated block element. This used to be page blocks or content blocks. I get them all mixed up. This used to be content blocks. Now it's just blocks. And when we click on it, which will automatically drop a block onto the page, we actually have access to the page blocks that are usable, that were only usable previously in the landing pages. So let's condense all this down to where it makes a lot more sense. Bottom line, we can now use pre-made designs over 100, and, well, not over, 199 of them exactly to be precise in our blog posts, in our pages, anywhere we want. What does this mean? Well, let's dive in a little bit more and take a look at some of the features that blocks bring to our content creation process. So I've said this a couple times before, I use Thrive Architect to build every blog post and every page on my website. I don't just use it to build landing pages. So when I go to build a new blog post like this, I start at a blank canvas and I go to my element tray and I decide what elements I want to add first. Now, typically I'll add text like so, and I'll start adding text to my blog post and I'll use the WYSIWYG formatting editor here where I can center or justify my text. I'll choose whether I use H1s or H2s. And I might even come in here and I might add images. I might decide that a nice image, right or left aligned, maybe centered, would look great for my post to help illustrate what I'm talking about. I'll add a video, a button, and things like that. But now with blocks, with this new block technology, I have the ability to, let's clear that out, come in here and drag and drop a blog post anywhere that I want on the page, and I can decide if I want to elevate this presentation with a pre-made block that allows me to just simply replace the images that are already there and to have something that looks a little bit more stylized, a little bit more designed, and in many cases, a bit more polished. So for example, if I was writing a, a post that maybe had three features, I could very quickly, with the click of a button, insert a block that automatically had three blocks that could describe a process or a feature set. And one thing I want to point out is that the blocks are automatically adopting the colors that I set for my theme. I'm using Thrive Theme Builder and my main color is my Convology Blue. So let's show another example of this. Perhaps I want to add another block and I'll just add the block right below this one. But again, I could add it up on top. Let's add it below. Start this new block. And let's say that in this example, I wanted to add an image on the left with text on the right. 
suddenly that starts to look good. And what's interesting in this one is that it automatically put a post list in because this block is a post list block. So that'd be a good opportunity here to evaluate the types of blocks that we have. On the left hand side here, we have blocks for articles, which will show the recent articles and it'll automatically do that for you. We just showed you this one right here. We have step blocks. Step blocks could describe a process, a feature set, um, maybe an order of things. They're just really good for blog posts, I think, where you try to break things down and distill them into bite-sized, understandable concepts. There's the product highlight, which I think is really good for showcasing images. I particularly like this one right here. I've used this many times before because it introduces a toggle effect. How cool would that be in a blog post? You rarely see that type of functionality just within a blog post itself. This is usually reserved for a page. And until now, this was 100% reserved for landing pages. Let's jump back real quick to those blocks to take a look at a few more options. We won't go through all of these, but we also have the ability to bring in hero sections. Now, in a blog post, this is just going to be a really wide image. But in, um, but in a page, right, if this wasn't a blog post, let's say this was just a page on my website, I could easily add in a hero section that would look quite nice. And in fact, let's do something real quick. On my particular blog template, you'll notice that if, uh, if I save this work and preview it, you'll notice that I have no sidebar and I actually have a lot of real estate on the left and right hand side for me to work with. So right now this hero section is confined within the borders of the bounds of my page. But if I jump back here and I click on this element, I can tell it to stretch full width. Let's save that work, come back here and refresh. And now suddenly, wow, that looks really cool to have that visual effect inside of a blog post. So that's the type of thing that we can start to implement inside of our blog posts to elevate the presentation of our content, to create something that's a little bit more visually broken up, visually appealing for our readers. Now, very quickly looking through the list of blocks that we have as options, you can see we have everything from pricing tables to list content, contact forms that are pre-built, FAQs, which I think have a ton of value for a, a blog post or a page, a resource list, which I think is great for reviews or recommendations or product things like that. If you're talking about a product and you want to say, hey, these are the products I talked about in my recent blog post. Here, product review. If you're doing a lot of product reviews, you can showcase products and link to them. And last but not least, the podcast, which I think they've done an amazing job here of creating a, a, um, a subscribe to the podcast section. So in general, we have a wide variety of different blocks that we can now use to build our blog posts. Now, the last thing I'll show you is the ability to build a blog post layout or even a page layout and save it as a template. So one thing that I find myself doing often with clients who have a very particular style in which they want to make a blog post, maybe it's a case study, maybe it's a product overview, maybe it's a press release, whatever it might be, they often just want someone on their team to be able to come in push a button, insert a template, and then edit that content just very quickly by highlighting and replacing the text or choosing a different image. So what you can do in Thrive Architect is in a blog post, for example, you can use blocks to build a nice looking template. Let's say that you had put something together like this and you wanted someone, maybe your VA or maybe um, someone on your team to just come in and swap out images and content for every post or, or even page, because again, this works for pages too. Once you've got something built exactly how you'd like it to look, you come over to the gear on the right-hand side and you click Save as Template and you give it a name. We'll call ours Blog Test Blog Post Template and you save. Now let's go ahead and start with a fresh post and see how we can use that template that we just created. All you have to do is go to the element tray, take your template that you want to insert, drag it or click it to put it onto the page, identify where your template is, click on it. And with a minimal effort, I've just inserted a beautiful template into my blog post or page that I can now use to very quickly swap out text and keep things looking consistent. So that's just a quick look at some of the power that blocks, the new updated block system from Thrive Themes gives you in your workflow. I'm super excited about this. Um, as you can see from that comment that I left on Thrive Theme site. This is something that I think is definitely a game changer for those of us that use blocks to build websites and rapidly deploy, deploy things like 
blog posts and pages for our clients and for our own businesses. If you have any questions about how to use blocks or how to create a better workflow for creating blog posts and pages for your website, feel free to leave a comment or come talk to me at convology.com.